Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn it love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And today, uh, yeah, I had a question um, on the Coach DC 404 site, of course. Um, do I play with the defensive assist and all that stuff on? Um the answer is to me, honestly, is like, I don't care whether you cut it on or cut it off. If you access the buttons, they still work. Like you can cut off the defensive assist or the, the ball hawk and all that stuff, but you still get it if you access L1 as you go for the ball. And so, so my answer is yes, I actually leave defensive assist and um, the ball hawk feature on. I mean, I can play with it off. Like I said, it doesn't really matter, but it's, it's to me the defensive assist feature which is l1 or lb on xbox i use that feature when it comes time to going for the ball so a lot of people get l2 and l1 confused defensively as it you know as it pertains to like when you use her and so l2 is primarily used for strafing and positioning of the user you know it, like I said, L2 is L2 is the brakes and the R2 is the accelerator. So it's like going fast and going slow. Um, at the start of every play, I'm going to access L2 because whoever I'm using with, I'm normally, I'm strafing up. I'm getting into the position that I'm supposed to get in. Um, in terms of, of usering, I'm always going to cover the spot or the weakness in the defense first. Let's say if I know the flats are open, then I'm probably going to cheat towards the flats, you know, with my eyes always in the back of my head looking behind me. Um, as you see right here on this play where, you know, Gronk gets around and is able to cut back in and get an interception. And so, but sometimes it's like you have to have that change of direction between L2 and R2, you know, the toggling. Um, and so... I can bait like I'm going up the field and then come down. And then, you know, sometimes it'll come down to what position. So let's say if as a user, you can't get to the ball. You have to click on to one of the corners or somebody else. When you click on a big caveat is what are you doing with the stick prior to you clicking on to the guy that you're trying to click to. So if you're trying to click to the corner you know, is the stick pointed in the right direction? Because that has a lot to do with the reaction you're going to get from your defensive guys. Um, again, back to the L2R2 thing, like like you see right there. Again, it helps me bait. It's like I can, I can look like I'm covering a route that's going from left to right, but then I can immediately shift my weight and get back to the left to see a, a, a route that's coming behind it or you know one of those over routes or something like that you see i'm able to come down and cheat but then i'm also able to click on to grunt and come downhill because of the direction that i have the stick pointed in prior to me clicking on to him so i know it, it sounds like it's complicated but like even in this situation you have to know what you want the guy that you're clicking to, to to do once you know you get control of him in essence and so um a lot of times sometimes you'll see me click on a little bit late because a lot of times you have to allow like you have to actually allow the sequence to play out a little bit i think sometimes if you click on early madden will purposely purposefully dumb your guys out and then they don't make a play but you'll see a, a play like that with davis and these are all like, you know, boundary drops, like cover three drops. These aren't like uh, cloud flats at 30 or nothing like that. No, these are deep blues. 
you know, so, you know, if you want to know how to make your guys, there are ways to make your defense, your AI guys move, you know, a way to make them play more aggressively. Um, that's all on like Coach DC 404 website, uh, Mechanics Bible. Again, I say this every time I get on here, but if you do not have both versions of the Mechanics Bible, you're just tripping at this point because it's going to make you a better player immediately. You go read the reviews. But anyway, you, you so you see guys like Leonard who, you know, may not be great Madden corners or, or whatever, you know, guys with abilities, but you see these guys making ability-like plays. They all look like they have deep um, out KO or whatever, you know, because they're cutting and they're breaking faster on these outside routes and they're in deep blues where normally they, they kind of just drift off, you know, into Never Never Land. You know, even the, the linebackers that play the middle sometimes, if I drop them in the middle, you know, whether they have the uh, mid-zone KO or deep inside KO or not, no, they have the ability to make the plays if you know how to make your guys move. I'm telling you, man, you guys, it, it, you just got to just gotta catch up to speed, man. Um, but in essence, every time when I click on, I'm trying to make sure that the stick is in the right direction. So in that case, I kind of know I played this defense so much, I kind of know where the click on places are and when the, the let's say the perfect, not necessarily the perfect time, but a good time to click on. And so I give a lot of passing offenses a lot of problems because not only, you know, from the zone positionings that I'm putting the guys in, it's the way that you can make guys react. And I, like I said, my mechanics Bible guys, they know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just, it's just ways to influence the AI defenders like that right there. You see Davis come down and actually hedge Waddle for inside position, you know, on, on a play where it's basically a 50-50 ball at that point. But you see him get the inside position and actually become the receiver on the play. And so, again, it's just like you, you have to just know kind of what position you're in as a defender and what, what it is you need to do. Like in some cases, if you're in that trail technique, it's not time to go for picks. It's time to go for a SWAT. A SWAT is just as effective as a pick, um, especially a lot of times if, you, if you're if you there and you go for the SWAT, they'll still give you the pick anyway. But you, you see right here, like I said, even in deep blues, able to influence my outside corners to kind of sit tight, you know, stay down, so to speak, so that they're able to play that corner route and actually get underneath um, the corner route, which is something you normally just don't see from a deep blue defender. Watch this right there. You see Davis right there. It looks like he has a uh, deep out KO and all that stuff. You see him just actually spin around, you know, uh, right as the ball is thrown and actually jump in front of the uh, tight end to make the play. And so you just see it in time and time again in these clips. But like I said, if you don't have it, then you fall victim to like stuff like that with the, the deep of uh, that fade. I'm telling y'all, man, that that if you have hot route master and you're not running that fade route, that fade stop, man, you are tripping. That fade stop is just as dangerous as the comeback and curl route. See, and so it like places like that, if you don't have that influence over your guys, your guys basically running right there with his back turned. Is that my granddaughter y'all hear in the background? Yes. I'm, I'm sure y'all probably hear that. But yeah, man. It's it <laughs> God, not during the video. But anyway, yeah, you see stuff like that, man. Being able to lead that precision lead stuff. Uh the next virtual is coming up is actually under pressure accuracy man and this one i'm telling you guys if hey get this video but sometimes it just doesn't matter watch watch this watch this play actually gave up a touchdown to this guy on that madden man come on yeah that under pressure accuracy thing though man i'm telling y'all this this gonna be a doozy man that's a doozy yep man so Y'all know what it is, man. It's Saturday, man. Go out and enjoy yourselves, man. Get on the game, man. Get you some work in, man. It's your boy, Coach. I'm out.